and three great alliances fight to claim it. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. A crowded marketplace, a chance meeting, unexpected, unannounced, and perhaps just the thing this one needs to solve a most curious investigation. Music Thunderboots, at your service. An abduction, to be precise. No ransom, no demands, no obvious suspects or motives. Just a heartbroken father and a missing young lady. But that is why Misik was hired, yes? <laughs> he steps in when all other justice fails. Correct. This one searches for Zinthia, daughter of Ishu. However, Misik's inquiries have led to nothing but dead ends. And with a young lady's safety on the line, the sooner this investigation is solved, the better. A chance meeting turned fated partnership. Fortuitous for this one, yes? Uh, you should speak to Ishu first. See if he has any new information for us. His house is just south of the marketplace. Can't miss it. Music Thunderboots is a Khajiit of action. Well, he does not wish to merely boast of his prowess. This one aims to prove such skill. Just as soon as we have a little more to go on, of course. Uh, this one will confess, while Mizik is confident in his skills of investigation here, struggles with the more alarming situations his line of work often entails. Uh, such as when large people threaten him with very sharp daggers. Uh, not this investigation, thank the moons. Uh, well, not yet. That is where your expertise comes along, yes? Your bravery. This one's cunning and a few good leads are all we need to solve this mystery. He is a humble Khajiit of moderate wealth. Seems to keep to himself. No enemies, no debts. No reason why he would be targeted. Yet just a few days ago, his daughter, Zinthia, was taken in the dead of night. Most strange, no? If Mizik did not know better, he would say that it was an intimidation tactic. Perhaps even an act of revenge against Ishu. But who would wish this cruelty against such a kind Khajiit? They outright dismissed Ishu's claim, believing that the young lady has merely run away. A most vexing call, truth be told. From all that Ishu has told this one, Zinthia is a most sweet Jakajit. 
Not one to make her father worry. Music Thunderboots is a kajit of action. Well, he does not wish to merely boast of his prowess. This one aims to prove such skill. Just as soon as we have a little more to go on, of course. <laughs> it is a good name, no? <laughs> Music Thunderboots. When scoundrels hear the footsteps of his boots, <laughs> they will quake in fear. Are you here about this one, Cynthia? Has she been found? Yes, of course. Cynthia was taken in the dead of night. This one has received no ransom, yet he fears the worst. She is a very beautiful Jakajit, you see. Ishu believes that the captors may mean to sell her. Cynthia has a long, glossy coat, soft as the richest of silks. Her eyes are bright yellow, like the honeyed moons. Ah, oh, and she always wears a gold necklace. No suspects, no, but someone who may have spotted something? Hmm. There is a wood elf who tends to stay up well into the night. Always singing and dancing, that one. If anyone saw something unusual the night Zynthia was taken, it might be her. The wood elf's name is Mel? Yes, that's it. Mel the Musical, she always calls herself. You can usually find her toward the north end of town, near the sand gardens. Isha will pray for your swift success. To help find this one's darling, Zynthia? Ishu will answer any question you ask. Mel arrived in Riverhold a few seasons ago. Makes a living begging for gold as she sings and dances. She has woken up Ishu more than once banging that drum of hers. Still, we chat occasionally. She is kind, if not a bit eccentric. Mel does not have a home in the traditional sense, so... You will often find her sleeping in the stables and bathing in the public fountains. But who is issue to judge, eh? We all have our oddities. Zinthia is a willful child. A tad spoiled, this one admits. Issue dotes on her. The town guard, they do not understand. They say, oh, perhaps she has wandered off, they say. Perhaps she is lost. Such foolishness. How can they be so uncaring? Thank you, thank you. May bright moons light your path. Ishu will prepare a feast for Zinthia's return, yes? Perhaps some fish. Ah, yes, fish is her favorite. This one can already hear her contented purrs.
You are the one who protected Starhaven from the Dragon's Wrath, yes? Bright moons bless you, traveler. If not for your actions, this one would not be alive today, and many others besides, all good friends. There was nothing left for this one in Starhaven. His quarters were destroyed along with all of his possessions. Inumar has nothing to his name but his fate. Still, he could have stayed to help rebuild, that is true. Too many sad memories. This one could not bear to stay, not after so much of his home was destroyed and so many of his friends were lost. Still, he will do what he can to help those in Riverhold. Do you know, a customer? Salutations. Mel the Musical at your service. Are you here for a performance? Ishu, the Khajiit with all the cats? That old coot is sweet as honey jaga, but a bit off if you ask me. Shame about his daughter, though. No one should have to go through that. If you're looking for trouble, Tajiri's your girl. I've seen her with all sorts of indecent folk lately. Always shifty eyes on those ones, I tell you. She tends to spend a lot of time behind the stables lately, if you catch my drift. Very good, then. And hey, if you're looking for some entertainment for your next soiree, make sure to seek me out. You won't regret it. She's a gambler with a lot of friends in a lot of places. And you know, who am I to judge? Business is business, after all. But as of late, she just seems to be getting more and more suspicious. In fact, there's been a lot of that in Riverhold. Suspicious activity. People who I ain't ever seen before, going about town at all hours. I mean, I may stay up well past most people's bedtime, but I'm a musician, comes with the territory. And these new folks aren't bards, that's for sure.
Saw you heading this way. Find anything of interest. Oh, the stables, hmm? Developed a sudden interest in horsemanship, Walker? Oh, looks to be a coat. A napping badger, eh? Sounds familiar. Ah, <laughs> yes. The sleeping badger is a rock formation, just south of Riverhold. But this bit about the sweet trip, that music doesn't understand. Music will mark it on your map, Walker. Feel free to lead the way. And perhaps this is a good time to mention that this one is not so skilled in uh, violent situations, uh, should trouble find us. But that is where your expertise comes in handy, yes? Find me later, Walker.
necklace must belong to Zinthia. Skuma. These vagrants must be smugglers. Come, let us speak away from this place. Daughter, a hidden note, and now a band of skooma smugglers. This investigation becomes messier with every step we take. This one is unsure, though it is possible Ishu may be hiding something. Still, our priority should be to investigate the gambler who wrote that note. Tajiri was her name, yes? That does ring a bell or two. If Tajiri is a gambler, it is likely we can find her at a local tavern. Mizik will head there at once and see what he can dig up. Meet this one at the Banished Regrets Inn. Thunderbolt make quite a charming pair. And watching you both play at being investigator, quite it's been sleek entertainment, truly. But now, now you tread upon sand that are best left undisturbed. Take it as a friendly warning. I hear that you seek Ishu's daughter, yes? I find that very funny. After all, everyone in Riverhold knows that she left town many years ago. Then issue has become senile in his old age. I speak truthfully. He had one daughter, and she is gone. Has been gone for many years. Tell this to your partner. And drop your investigation. Now. I accept all kinds in the banished regrets. I truly do. But that wood elf bard keeps tracking mud on my clay floors.
bright moons look over us today, Walker. Tajiri has just settled down for a round of gambling. While music distracts her, you can sneak into her home and search for another clue. It's just a bit north of the tavern. Hmm. Forgive this one if he's skeptical. Even if this stranger spoke truly, why then would issue higher music? Why would Tajiri have written that note? Why would we find a gold necklace in the smuggler's camp? Then perhaps this stranger simply wishes to confuse us. Throw us off the scent. <laughs> Besides, we cannot stop now. Not when an innocent young lady may still be at risk. Let us investigate Tajiri before she retires for the night. This one will admit he is not very skilled. Jiri, is that you?
Phillips. Over here. This one hopes you have found something of interest, Walker. Mizik cannot afford to keep Tajiri distracted any longer. And he means that most literally. Blue serpents? Four-pointed paint? <laughs> if Mizik had to guess, this poem describes drop-off locations for illicit goods. Smugglers often hide them in plain sight. First a sleeping badger, now a blue serpent. Must represent another landmark. That's it. The river is often busy with trade. A perfect place to smuggle goods. Let us search along the river and see if we find any barrels or crates with markings. Hopefully we'll find something that will lead us to Zinthia. Misik will admit this case is heading in a rather uh, unexpected direction, which is a bit worrisome if he's being honest. <laughs> It is strange, isn't it? With an operation as intricate as this, it seems odd that these smugglers would target a Khajiit of such limited wealth. This one agrees, but let us first check these smuggler cachets. The note said that the goods were leaving town today, yes? That could include Zinthia. Painted mark seems curious, no? Oh, if that cheese isn't illegal, it should be. What a smell! Mizik sees a painted mark ahead. Somerset wine, eh? Not illegal, but incredibly taxed. Mizik has a feeling this bottle didn't find its way to Riverhold through virtuous means. <laughs> Me 
Amnesic is all right. Be the painted mark we seek? A very pretty scarf for smugglers to wear, yes? Perhaps it belongs to Cynthia. That mark has four points, like the note says. This barrel smells sweet, but also rotten. What could it be? Dark moons. They're smuggling spoiled moon sugar. Very unsafe for anyone to eat. Speak to Ishu and see what he knows of these smugglers. Then let us meet back at the tavern. We have much to discuss. Yes, any news of this one, Zinvia? Smuggler camps? Dark moons? Yes, the necklace and scarf belong to Zinvia. Have they... Have the smugglers sold her? By John and John, please say it isn't so. No, of course not. Ishu has only lived a good, honest life. Please, you must find this one's Jakajit. She is so young and innocent and probably terrified without her papa. Whatever will Issue do if his Cynthia is harmed? May bright moons watch over you. Oh, really? Well, Issue supposes his family has grown over the years. But how could this one not seek their companionship? Their little faces, their tiny paws. His darlings love him completely, demanding little but affection and food and belly rubs. But of course, mostly. She and Medwick don't always get along, but Medwick is older and doesn't always like to play or be teased. And just between us, 
That that can be a bit of a jacuzit sometimes. I think she's jealous. I warned you, Thunderbrutes. And so the other thorn in my paw arrives. I told you, did I not? First time was a warning. Now it is a threat. You both leave town. No more investigations, no more sticking your snouts where they don't belong. Collect your things and leave. That again? I told you Ishu's daughter left Riverhold years ago. He's just a delusional old Khajiit caught up in a fantasy. And for this you try to ruin my little operation? Of all the things... Who I am does not matter. What I can do to you, on the other hand, should be of immediate concern. You either leave Riverhold on your own, or you leave in pieces. Your choice. <sighs> so it appears that your strange friend is Rides are the rogue. Good to know. Let us just say that her reputation precedes her. Well, threats to our life aside, it seems that we finally have a perpetrator. Now we just need to follow her. We are investigators, are we not? <laughs> you must search for a trail. With any luck, she'll lead you straight to Ishu's daughter. Meanwhile, Mizik will alert the proper authorities. Rideza must have stepped on the jelly from the sugar claws. You must follow her trail while this one alerts the guards. So, I recently traveled past Two Moons Temple. I hate to say it, but I think the monks there have gone mad. What makes you say that? They said they were chasing butterflies, but I couldn't see any. They were chasing nothing. It was bizarre and, well, unsettling to see them behave so. You saw nothing? Odd. You mentioned butterflies. This one has a bad feeling about that. A memory teases. 
and is gone. Ah, well.
es denn hier auch weitergehen, verdammt nochmal? Da oben. Ah, ja. Meddling! Rid is of the road. Caught at last. Did you find my daughter? Where is she? Here. Your daughter is right here, you old fool. Riteza! You're the one who stole Cynthia. Oh, this one's poor Jakashit. Ha! Feeling a little jealous. To go so far as to steal your father's pet. Well, it seems that our investigation has come to a successful close. Though not quite in the way that Misik was expecting. In hindsight, it makes sense. When you were told that Ishu's daughter left town years ago, Rideza must have been speaking of herself. Still, to have been chasing Ishu's pet this whole time. This is true. Because of our dedication, Riverhold no longer has to deal with these vile smugglers. And let us hope it stays that way, yes? Mizik just needs to collect our reward. Why don't we meet at the banished... <laughs>